Israel-based SodaStream is the number one sparkling water brand in the world in terms of consumption, knowing for being socially conscious with uh, Jews and Arabs working side by side. The company's CEO has now taken a dive into saving our oceans from plastic consumption in the form of a company-wide international effort off of the plastic-laden coast of Honduras. Please welcome CEO Daniel Birnbaum. Hello and welcome. I see you, you brought you bought a friend with you. That's so right. to speak. So tell us about, first of all, I mean, for you yourself are an avid, you know, seafaring man. So I imagine this is a cause very close to your heart anyway. Yeah, yeah. Well, it should be close to everyone's heart because we're talking about the planet, the only yes, one we and have. saving the one we have. We don't have too many others. We can, didn't figure <laughs> out Mars yet. Um, and we're talking about our children and uh, their livelihood. So what happened was I saw a video done by Caroline Power about a year ago showing the trash floating uh, right across the island of Roatan in Honduras. And it was really gut-wrenching. It was like 15 miles of floating trash. A lot of it was plastic. And I, f I thought, you know, I, I got to do something about that. I know I'm a naval officer myself. I spent six years in the Israeli Navy, and I recruited folks from that network to think together how to collect floating trash in the Caribbean Sea. We came up with a contraption together with an American company called uh, the American Boom and Barrier Company. They deal with oil containment strategies okay. and techniques, and we developed a system that we call the Holy Turtle. And, and it collects trash from the ocean. And we applied it. But I brought 300 people with me from all over the SodaStream uh, countries in the world. We're in 45 countries. And we spent four days collecting trash. The amount of trash we collected in the ocean, on the mangroves, and along the beaches is nine tons of plastic. Things like this. I brought these to kind of remind it, me what it is. What nine tons is the equivalent of? It's the equivalent of nine rhino, rhinoceroses. It's, you think it's trash. a lot, but it's really not. And the reason is, is that Every 30 seconds, that's the amount of trash that is thrown into the oceans worldwide. So we spent four days, 300 people, and we collected 30 seconds worth of trash in the world. And the obvious conclusion is, don't even bother to collect. Reduce, eliminate, stop making the stuff, stop using the stuff. If you cannot reuse, lose. Stop it using it. It is a simple it. concept. What do you think it is, besides you know education that's getting out there, that, that people are just not you know, worldwide as aware as we think we should be. It's a very logical, obvious thing. Like, looking yeah, at this it picture, takes, it takes who wants empathy. to swim in like, that? It takes, it takes a change of behavior. And people change difficultly. And I'm talking about stop using straws, paper straws, uh, move from plastic straws to paper straws. Mm -hmm. Same thing about plastic cups, stop. Plastic bags, when you go to the grocery, use a reusable bag. And bottles. We collected a ton of bottles. I personally collected more bottles than any other form of plastic. And we should stop using single-use water bottles. Use something called tap water. It's generally really good and safe, <laughs> and it tastes really good in most of the Western world. And if you need to drink out of home, use a reusable bottle. Each one of us should have one bottle in our life. Mm -hmm. And if we do those simple changes that we can all do, it's in your hands, then we would reduce the plastic waste and we could help save our planet. Listen, all it takes is one per. I mean, if one person and one person and one person, then that's kind of that's right. What but it's not only people. Be the it's mostly point, people. Right? But I also I would call on companies to do a better job yes. at moving to reusable materials, mm -hmm. such as glass and other things like that. I'd call on regulators to really attack this with sincerity. Unlike the European Union, who just passed a regulation banning and reducing plastic, you would think on the surface that that's a big step. But read the fine print. Bottles are exempt. And bottles are probably the biggest contributor to plastic waste on the planet. Why are so bottles exempt? if there's one exempt? thing we could do, it's get rid of the plastic. I, if there's one good first step, have everyone get rid of plastic bottles. That's right. Bottles, but also straws, plastic straws, cups, and bags. Those are the four categories. Now, in, I can tell you, be, my family yeah. made that change. Everyone who was with me in Honduras made that change. We're pledging to do that. And, and I'm advocating that everybody should do that little change for our planet. Because we don't know how dangerous this plastic is. Yeah. It's not not only gross, it's not only endangering animals, species, marine life, it might also be endangering people. We don't know yet what microplastics does, right. bioaccumulation and things like that, because a piece of us right now, a part of us, is plastic, because we consume this. Nobody knows what it does to your health. So let's just eliminate from our lives, live healthier, leave our children a safe planet to live in.